Dreamers and doers, welcome to the Solar Punk Conference. Before we delve into the exciting realm of solar punk possibilities, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lindsay Jane, a horticulturist and passionate advocate for a greener, brighter future. Some of you may know me as the host of the YouTube channel, The Solar Punk Scene. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with all of you today, sharing this remarkable space of inspiration and innovation. Today, we gather under the banner of limitless possibilities, embracing a future where our wildest dreams become our everyday reality. The theme of this conference is Imagine, Act, Thrive, a call to unleash our collective creativity, roll up our sleeves and pave the way towards a flourishing world. In this vibrant gathering of like-minded individuals, we invite you to embark on a journey of discovery, innovation, and hope. Throughout this exhilarating day, we'll immerse ourselves in the boundless realm of solar punk, a vision that fuses be nature's beauty with cutting edge technology and ethical society. We'll explore how it can reshape our communities and the planet we call home. So fasten your seatbelts as we embark on a voyage of imagination. Together, we will challenge the norms, break free from the constraints of the present and envision a future teeming with sustainable marvels. From solar powered cities to green urban design, regenerative agriculture to renewable energy breakthroughs, the possibilities are limited only by our ingenuity. But we won't stop at dreaming alone. This conference is a call to action, a rallying cry for all of us to get things moving and bring our solar punk dreams to life. Through inspiring talks, a hands-on workshop and collaborative sessions, we'll exchange ideas, ignite new partnerships and build the foundations for a world where humans and nature thrive harmoniously. Before handing things over to our speakers, I'm going to take a few moments to walk through some key details for the day. Uh, this conference emerged in September 2022 as a collaborative endeavor by members of our community who sought to provide a platform for the hopeful solar punk vision. It was conceived as a space for individuals committed to building the vibrant and sustainable world we aspire to see. The inception of our solar punk conference was also driven by the desire to establish a counter narrative against the rise of tech bro green capitalism that surrounds us, preempting any attempts to co opt solar punk and redirecting the conversation away from its fundamental principles and values. A strong proponent of our values is gratitude. And with that, we'd like to say thank you before we continue. Gratitude is fundamental to all of us at the Solar Punk Conference, and we'd like to express that. First of all, thank you to everyone who has come today and supported this conference, whether through the Kickstarter or purchasing a ticket. This gathering of like-minded people would not be possible without you. Your generosity and enthusiasm has led to the spreading of information and ideas that will give life to a brighter future. Thank you to all our speakers who are gathered here today to share their knowledge and their experience with us, sowing the seeds of a solar punk revolution. Thank you to those who guided us with their experience and time, such as Justine Norton Kurtzen, Bjorn Van Dyke, Jorge Pile, Garnet Clarence, and Alex Bowles. Thank you to our volunteers today for joining us and helping make this conference work. Rev, who not only massively contributed to see this conference come to fruition, but also volunteered his time. And Ariel, who is not only presenting on a panel, but is volunteering her time moderating as well. And with that, let's delve into our ethics and code of conduct for the conference. At the Solar Punk Conference, we're passionate about intersectional environmental justice. What this refers to is recognizing how different forms of inequality and oppression are deeply intertwined with environmental problems. We're here to tackle those issues head on and find ways to address them. And we're here to explore how environmental challenges are connected to social injustices and to come up with innovative solutions that address both. It's about making sure everyone has a fair shot at a healthy and sustainable future. The Solar Punk Conference is a gathering where we value all living things and strive to create a balance between people and our shared biosphere. Even if participants don't fully embrace these beliefs, we expect them not to actively work against them during or at the conference. We celebrate diversity and inclusivity at the Solar Punk Conference and firmly reject all forms of bigotry. We believe that diversity brings strength and we are committed to including people with various identities and life experiences. Our goal is to make the conference accessible to everyone and treat all participants with respect. Participants should hold each other accountable and collaborate to ensure the safety of everyone involved. 
We strictly prohibit any reproduction of systematic violence, including ableism, bullying, colonialism, imperialism, fascism, homophobia, racism, sexism, and transphobia. Those who engage in harmful behavior that violates our guiding values and code of conduct will face disciplinary action, such as immediate expulsion from the conference without a refund. We expect all participants to bring their best selves to the conference, acting with personal integrity and engaging with honesty and good faith. We encourage everyone to be open to learning and personal growth as we interact with one another, always assuming that we are acting in good faith. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to contact one of the conference team members, whether that be myself, Charles Vosecchi, Claire, Keith Schuller, or one of the moderation team. Accessibility is of utmost importance to us. We firmly believe that everyone should have equal opportunities to participate in the Solar Punk Conference, regardless of their individual needs or circumstances. We strive to create an inclusive environment where everyone feels welcome and can fully engage in the conference activities. We are committed to addressing accessibility concerns and providing reasonable accommodations to ensure that all participants can fully enjoy and benefit from the conference experience. If you require any specific accommodations or have concerns related to accessibility, please don't hesitate to contact us. Your needs matter and we're here to support you in making the conference accessible for all. If you have any accessibility concerns, please reach out to Case, Claire, or our volunteers for assistance. Congruent to the conference, we also have a Discord running alongside the presentations and speakers. This is to allow for community building, collaboration, and discussion of the different topics. If you're not signed up already, you can join here. I'm adding the link to it in the chat. You can just see it there right now. Uh, if you're having any tech issues, we do have volunteers and our team that you can contact. This is myself, Case, and our volunteers. Uh, and with that out of the way, uh, let me give you a taste of what our day looks like. Get ready for an immersive experience as we explore a wide range of topics that will ignite your imagination and inspire groundbreaking ideas. To commence this remarkable day, we are honored to introduce our esteemed keynote speaker, Andrew Sage. Andrew, a prominent figure in the YouTube community, has garnered acclaim through his channel, Andrewism, renowned for its insightful discussions on solar punk. His expertise and unique perspective are sure to set the stage for an enriching experience that enlightens us. Now sharing the stage with Andrew is Serena Ulibarri, a brilliant speculative fiction writer and editor. Through her remarkable works, she delves into the realms of solar punk literature, transporting readers to a world where renewable energy, eco-friendly technologies, and community resilience blend seamlessly with captivating narratives. We are thrilled to share the exciting news that John Threat, a globally recognized hacktivist and artist, will be joining us today. We will dig into the realms of optimistic futuring and hacktivism alongside him. Prepare to be captivated by his insights and vision for a brighter future. We'll be delving into the fascinating realm of urban design. Joining us for a thought-provoking session with the expert, Philip Crosby, whose work focuses on using urban design as a tool for sparking a solar punk revolution. Brace yourself for a captivating discussion that will challenge our preconceived notions of urban design and pave the way for a brighter future. Furthermore, we have an exciting panel lined up, delving into the intricacies of solar punk literature and how it can ignite our imaginations with eco-conscious tales. Engage with our panelists as they unravel the transformative power of solar punk narratives in shaping our perspectives. Shifting gears, we invite Enrique Sanchez, a research and development engineer to share insights on sustainable hydroponics and open source decentralized technology. Join us as Enrique sheds light on a cutting edge advancements that promise to revolutionize the way we approach sustainable agriculture. Later in the day, we'll be jo joined by Josh Gooden, an artist who focuses on bridging the gap between ideas and action. Josh will be exploring the creative realms of his solar punk themed youth oriented graphic novel, demonstrating how imagination can fuel real world change. Furthermore, we'll have a compelling talk by Daniel Hackborn, delving into the concept of library economy, leveraging local libraries for climate action. Discover the intersection of solar punk and the community-driven solutions as we explore the immense potential libraries hold in the fight against climate change. Join us for an engaging session on nurturing an ecological worldview and empowering children with skills for sustainable living with Peter Kindfield. 
Peter will guide us through the transformative power of nature education as we strive to create a future where harmony with the, with, uh, the environment is at the core of our existence. Lastly, we understand that grappling, uh, grappling with the challenges of climate change can evoke complex emotions, such as grief and anxiety. In recognition of this, we have organized a dedicated session with Good Grief Network to explore the concept of climate grief and provide strategies for managing these emotions. Join us in this supportive environment to gain insights on navigating the emotional terrain of climate change and finding meaningful ways to take action. We will be having 15 minute, uh, 15 minute breaks in between uh, each session, along with a hour long lunch where we'll be having discussions available in the Discord. At the end of the day, we'll also be having an after party where we will be uh, showing the short film They Shimmer at Night by Robot uh, Roberto Andres and Fenn, followed by a short set by the musician Musical Teapot. Uh, for part of the day, we are going to be having two sessions uh, running at once. Uh, pre please check the schedule towards which you'd like to view and please uh, ask for any kind of clarification if you need it as towards where each session will be. With our lineup of esteemed speakers, immersive experiences and engaging discussions, we promise you a full day of exploration, inspiration and collaboration. So my friends, let your imagination take flight, let your passion fuel your actions and let us together chart a course towards a future where solar punk dreams become our shared reality. Welcome to the Solar Punk Conference. Imagine, act, thrive. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our land acknowledgement speaker, Cheryl Chagnon Greyes, a proud Nahiya Esquio, an indigenous activist and a traditional knowledge keeper. She champions justice and environmental causes. Join us in honoring the land. Please take it away, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Danse Oki. Welcome to each and every one of you that is gathered here today. My name is Cheryl Shania Gray Eyes. I am Cree from Muskeg Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan, Treaty 6. I wish to acknowledge that here, where I am broadcasting from, is Calgary, known as Mokinsis in Blackfoot. I wish to acknowledge the Treaty 7 that we are on here today. The Blackfoot from Sixtica, Gainai, and Bakuni. The Dene from Tutsina, formerly known as the SRC. The Stony Nakoda, Ayahe Nakoda people from Morley, Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Good Stony, formerly known as Wesley First Nation. Here in Calgary, we are a Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. I wish to acknowledge all the territories where our guests may be coming from and to acknowledge the Indigenous peoples of that land. North America is known as Turtle Island, and the Indigenous people have been here for millennia. I wish to also share a basic teaching. When we are born, we are born with obligations to the past, to the present, and to the future. We must consider seven generations back. What will our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, and our ancestors who have come before think about the decisions that we are making today? We must also consider seven generations to the, to the future. How will our choices impact our children? our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and those yet to be born. We must also consider the present and the seven sacred teachings of courage, honesty, humility, love, respect, truth, and wisdom. We make better choices when we think like that. I wish to share with you the Cree welcome song to welcome each and every one of you and your beautiful spirits that you are bringing here to share today in the Solar Punk Conference. We honor all our relations, and by all our relations, I mean us two-legged, as people who are brothers and sisters and family upon this earth, but also the four-legged, the animals, the winged ones, those creatures that fly, the creatures of the waters, the plants and the animals in the waters, the creepy crawlies and things that live in our earth, our beautiful standing nation, the, the plants and uh, trees that give us life and sustain us in a good way. Also our oldest relatives, the rocks, the mountains, our grandmothers and grandfathers, and of course, our biggest relative, our mother earth, our beautiful mother earth, who gives us, gives us everything we need to live, to thrive, to survive, and to be here and enjoy this beautiful and beautiful world. 
Creator, we thank you for blessings received. And I wish to greet you with the Cree Welcome Song, written by Joseph Neto Howell of Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. This Mia Sin means beautiful in Cree and honors your beautiful spirits that you've brought here today. Normally, I sing my songs in four rounds, but this one's special, and I sing it in three rounds to include each and every one of you that is joining us here today and to honor and welcome you in a good way. Mia Sin, the Cree welcome song. Mia Sin, Mia Sin, Asemina. Asemina epeita kote giwa go magan o ta o ma kita skino mia sen mia sen a semina, a semina, e peita kote, ki wago magan, o ta, o ma, ki ita skino. Mia sen, mia sen, a semina, a semina, e peita kote, giwa go magan, o ta, o ma. Thank you and welcome to each and every one of you in your beautiful spirits and our beautiful Mother Earth for whom we gather this day. Thank you and may Creator bless you on your journey. Hi, hi.